Hi, Mr. C here in the wood shop again, and I would like to talk to you about the oscillating spindle sander, okay? This sander has a drum, and what it will do is it will spin up and come down and sands inside of a curve. So let me grab this piece of material here. So essentially, this machine, this drum, will sand inside of this part. So before I start playing around with this machine, the best thing for me to do is what? Lock out the power. So I'll go ahead and lock, turn off the power at the power box. Now I'm free to go ahead and make any adjustments that I need to with this machine, okay? Now, with this machine and this curve, I should go ahead and get a different size drum because this opening or this curve, this radius is much larger than this one, okay? So what I'm gonna do is this, is I've locked out the power. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen up the spindle portion on the top. And pull this out. Now this spindle I'm taking out. And as you can see, this throat plate is not gonna work, right? So I need to pull this throat plate out. I'm gonna grab the appropriate throat plate for this spindle. Okay, and place it in there. I only have a little bit of space right here, which is appropriate. This is the right size for this, this actual spindle. I'm gonna grab on to this portion of the machine, and then I'm gonna hold on to that. As I tighten this down, and this will allow me to tighten up the spindle. Okay, now that I have this set, I'd like to talk to you a little bit more about what's the proper procedure when using this. Okay, now only one person should use this machine at any given time. Okay, and another thing is, is and I failed to mention on the belt this sander, and same thing goes for this machine, is you don't want to force material into the spindle or the disc, or any other machine in here for that matter. It's just unsafe, okay? Let the machine run at its designed RPM or speed. That way it'll work faster, more efficiently for you, and you won't be doing any damage to the machine. All right, so I'm gonna stand here on this side and have my machine off. The drum is in here nice and tightly. I have my on and off button here. I make sure that no one else is going to use this machine except for me, one person, okay? I made sure that the abrasive is nice and clean. We do have the sandpaper saver if we need to, but at this time, this is a new um, sleeve or a drum. So I can go ahead and turn this on, make sure it's running at full RPM before I start sanding. Oh wait, sorry. Remember, I locked out the power. So let me turn the power back on. Okay, now I'm going to sand this to the line. It's going to take a little bit of time. It's not a big deal. We're not in a hurry. It's more important to get this correct. Now, once I turn it off, I want to make sure that this drum comes to complete stop before I walk away. This machine has come to a complete stop. I've sanded this nice and smooth, so I'm pretty good at, at this. The surface quality is pretty good. So I can go ahead and take this and go start working on my project, okay? Let me just double check my notes here to make sure that I've hit on everything. It looks like I have. That's good. I just want to make double check to make sure that you are getting all the right content when you're watching this, this video. So, again, this is Mr. C, but I want to tell you something also. I'm not a videographer. As you noticed, I'm a woodworker. I haven't had the opportunity to edit the videos because, as you know, that we're in COVID-19, and these videos have to be put up, and it takes a very long time for them to upload, upload and link into YouTube for your viewing so that way you can receive your content on time. 
later, I will have the opportunity to go ahead and edit these to make them a little bit more professional looking. But the truth is, let's be honest, I'm a woodworker. I'm not a videographer. So until next time, I'll see you in the woodshop. I'm Mr. C.